Hello Cancerian. So we're using the Fallen Angel deck by Nigel Suckling again. I'm going to try to make this quick, um, but I'm going to tell you this reading is already um, grinding at me. And the reason for that is because it appears to be beautiful in the beginning until you find out the reason. And that's where it really starts to stick. Okay, so there's the Harmony card to start with. This is talking about sugarcoating, um, trying to get along. For some, it can be a good thing, but sometimes we try so hard to get harmony in ways that are not healthy, and that's what is happening here. So, of course, harmony is good, but not in the way that it's being handled. So I feel as if there are people who are... Um, literally becoming sick, whether it's emotionally or physically, by this situation. Somebody is stepping in, trying to be inspirational, trying to be that superhero, trying to tell everyone that they are the savior, that they're going to change this situation and really turn things around. They're giving this notion that they want to heal um, the past or heal a certain very uncomfortable situation. But the truth is this person is no leader. This person is no superhero because this person is commanding secrecy. If this was a true leader, someone who truly wanted to heal a situation, at its root, they would be commanding honesty, not secrecy. When someone commands secrecy, you must already know that they have dirty hands. You have to ask yourself, what are they hiding? What do they have to gain? by keeping the silence. It feels very bound and gagged, unable to speak, suppressed. Um, this is a form of emotional abuse. Whether you're aware of this or you're not. Now keep in mind, this could be you or this could be someone in your situation. But the Savior is no Savior. This person is forcing people to be silent. Imagine a world where you could never express yourself. You could only listen to some blowhard give their spiel about what you should focus your attention on. What you should say, what you should do. But never having that freedom to express yourself. This person feels like that. Very controlling, domineering. All to cover up their own past their own misdeeds. You do not heal any situation by sugarcoating it, covering it up, um, silencing people. All that does is frustrate and intimidate. Your rule here or your mission here is to uncover these secrets because this is something that you need to dig it up from the root. Don't, don't just pull it, pull it from the root and dig out the roots and get rid of it. This could be a long standing family tradition of secrecy. Um, it doesn't have to be that, but I'm giving you an example of what type of thing this might be. Um, but the problem is that the person 
pretending to be the martyr or mortar, however you say it, this person is very guilty of all the things that they are trying to shush. And an example would be that maybe it's somebody who does not believe in divorce, but they divorced 20 years ago. So their nephew is about to divorce and they start religiously preaching to them about not divorcing, even though they themselves are guilty. It's something like that. But this person is taking away free speech, freedom of expression, is causing blocks in creativity um, and even love and self-love. Okay. Sorry, that's my chair. Um, This is definitely something that could be a family history, something like that. The second card being moderation. Again, it's like somebody's being governed or um, what's the word? Throttled, something like that. This definitely has to do with a history. It feels like someone has been told in this situation that strength comes from being quiet, from keeping the secrets, um, knowing how to play your cards, rather than being just open and honest and coping and adjusting, right? So this person it's let me just say being quiet is not strength. It's also not wise because the truth comes out, but it could be someone, how do I put this? They're using their authority or their stature or their title, something like that to silence people. In the process, somebody is getting dumped on. That could be the way that they were taught, though. Like I said, kind of like you've heard the saying that children are to be seen and not to be heard. There is nothing further from the truth. Um, This person wants to silence other people for their own um, edification. So for whatever that means to you, this person is intentionally causing confusion. And again, I'm just going to say that we don't heal things by keeping secrets or burying them. Um, We are able to heal and move forward once we air things out. Yes, there can be disagreements. Yes, some people could be disappointed, but the thing is, once it is brought out, people can learn and begin to adjust, but they can't adjust to what they can't see. So whatever is going on with you guys, I just want to say that if there's someone who's coming in, seems to want to take control of the situation, saying they're going to heal everything, don't believe them, okay? Healing happens through honesty, openness, and truth. Um, It's not going to happen through forced um, silence. All right, guys. So if this resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.